Um, so we decided, um, you know, we've had, we've, we've gone across the country uh, uh, quite a bit, and, and we've had, um, I've had a lot of strange um, fan experiences. <laughs> and we thought, we thought maybe we'd have a competition to see, see which city would, uh, would uh, have the most unique uh, fan experience. I had, I had one time, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what you guys have to beat. <laughs> I had one time, I was playing a show in uh, Calgary, Alberta. And there was an, uh, an elderly woman um, that felt so inclined to throw her uh, bra on stage. <laughs> it, was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was quite, quite large. It, it, was, it was black. It sort of looked like a Mickey Mouse here or something. <laughs> and it came flying right past me, like a duck in the way. And my guitar player at the time was like, it, I just started out, and he's like, man, that's your first, your first bra, you gotta keep it. <laughs> so I was, sort of, I was sort of a little bit uh, intimidated, and I kind of up really slow, carried it up, and uh, and then we're, we're sitting in the in the dressing room, just hanging out after the show, and I get a knock on the door, and uh, as soon as I saw her, I knew it was her. <laughs> you can you can imagine why, and um, and she said, "Hi, Caitlin, I I need my bra back," <laughs> and I said, "I said, yeah, you do." <laughs> so, uh, so I, I gave her I gave her the bra back and what I, what I always wish I would have said is, you know, thank you so much for the support. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's what you guys are gonna have to beat if, uh, if you wanna compete.